Alrighty, hello everyone, and welcome to Max Payne 2, the fall of Max Payne. Uh, this is the 2003 sequel to Max Payne, developed by Remedy, published by Rockstar Games. Originally released on the PC, followed by ports to the Xbox and the PlayStation 2. Uh, this game follows up for Max Payne 1, but it's pretty different. Uh, we have an actual face model for Max now that is not Sam Lake. Uh, and we have a much higher attention, or not attention, a much higher focus on graphical fidelity, um, rather than working with, uh, you know, pictures pasted onto character models. So it's got a different look. It's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, we can only play on Detective at the start, so let's do that. Part one, The Darkness Inside. <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area! Hold your fire! Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. Kissing the mouth of a gun, huh? Ominous. We're losing him! Multiple gunshot wounds, pupils blown, head trauma, God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs, get him to ICU. He's Four. not responding! This guy is a train wreck! We're losing him! When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I Imagine opened if doctors my eyes talked like that. and everything slid into focus. She was dead. That I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Trippy. He says, that's a shame. That's my least favorite way of doing difficulty. Max. Same. So yeah, no longer has Sam Lake face. Uh, interestingly enough, the controls have changed a bit too. Uh, we have the ability to roll whatever direction we want, just straight up. Uh, we can of course open stuff still, just the same. We have moved from using JPEGs for uh, the skyboxes. Now we have some models. I think those are 2D textures actually, but still not just raw pictures. And look at these environments. Look at this environment quality. I like that Max uh, jumps as if he's holding a gun, even if he doesn't. That's a, the same thing from the first game, too. Uh, and yeah, Max's face model is not Sam Lake. He is an actual actor whose name I have forgotten. Now, as you can see, I am playing the game patched so that it works on modern systems. This means there is going to be a few graphical errors. For example, Look at that mirror. See how it's reflecting the room, seemingly? Reflecting the room that we can't see? Believe it or not, this is not real-time ray tracing. Uh, in fact, that reflection does not make any sense. And the reason is because it is obviously just a duplicated room. But you can see here, it's a snapshot of the room from the last location that it was seen. So you might notice some weird reflections here and there because of stuff like this. Um, just kind of an interesting rendering thing because uh, the game will only render Max and other moving objects when they are actually in frame of the camera and not within the frame of the reflection. So uh, be aware, sometimes that will happen. Doors will also act a little funny. Sometimes Whoa. they'll bleed in. Anyone there? To the rest of the environment. And you'll be able to see far more than we should be able to. So maybe some cutscenes will break as well. 
but overall it shouldn't be too problematic, I don't think. A blind spot in my head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. Tons of painkillers. Where are my goddamn guns? <laughs> Interfectum your pain. Kills your pain. That's an ominous thing for, uh... Oop. For a... <laughs> thing that's in a uh, in a doctor's office. Kind of nice little effect right there too. We care about your health, Memorial Hospital. He's dead, Jim. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! Is Max back in the... Back in the NYPD at this game? Guess he must be, right? She's here to kill me. Back off, Payton. Got any painkillers? This is a much like slower, uh, more cinematic opening than Max Payne One um, One had. Kind of interesting. Address unknown. Descent to madness. Cola. Ah, four. Sam Lake. Right there. Mira's men pretended to be hospital wardens. Is that Peretta? No, it's they said I was an escaped mental patient. Diagnosis: paranoid schizophrenic. You are insane, psychotic. You have to eat plenty of pills to get better. They lied that I had killed my girlfriend. John Mira came to mock me in the bathroom mirror. <laughs> John Mira. Mingo was with him. Mira claimed my girlfriend had turned evil, joined him. She has died her hair. <laughs> the mirror. I'd kill them all. A address Stay unknown. So as address unknown continues. Address unknown. That's the uh the, the Twin Peaks knockoff from the first game as well. Kinda fun. Look at these beautiful 2003 graphics. Look at these these chunky models. Hey. Oh, it's Jim Prefer, the guy who was against us in the You're first game. You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. 
Another guy gets gunned down while talking to us. Oh no. Well, that's a problem, uh. The bullshit! <laughs> what excellent dying words. What the hell? They were after me. It was my fault. You can't run from your past. You'll end My up guns. running in circles until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. My poor guns. We just got them and now we can't have them. That's so unfair. Do I? I have no painkillers? What? I should have healed before? Shit. Did it just Metroid us? That's brutal. I had tried to run from it, edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made, and it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Fan those extra units. Call the central. We need every available unit here now. I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. Good shit. Part one, the darkness inside. New York City last night. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed, a hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out, back to the job, the NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledged. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was Who's connected that? to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. Was that the guy who helped us in the first game? I thought his name was, um, Morris, wasn't it? Or no, that was the guy we killed. Hey, look at this. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. I'm going in. All right, got our pistol back. I guess with this no is way to deal the with the past. I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road killed behind me. I chase lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. Oh, we still have to hold down C to crouch, and we can't crouch walk. <laughs> Please! Dick Justice. Stranded in the dark and violent night. Dick Justice. A lone, hard-boiled fugitive cop. 
framed for the murder of his wife on a quest for vengeance through the criminal underworld in the city's heart of darkness. The rain was coming down like all the angels in heaven had decided to take a piss at the same time. In a situation <laughs> like mine, you can only think in metaphors. They had killed the love of my life. They were going to pay. Wow. Mark's peep is Bach. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh. Max Heat and Laura Norder in Max Heat 7. Late night adult entertainment after midnight. <laughs> Alrighty then. Pleased to meet you, dearest of all my friends. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vladimir Lay. I invite you to the grand opening of my restaurant, Vodka. Oh, Make Vladimir Lem. You will be seen clear as vodka. Vodka, style, grace, and taste. Opening soon. Who's the man with nothing to lose? Who's These the TV, this TV stuff is like way expanded. This is cool. Badass in the ghetto. That's right. Dick Justice. Is it just gonna loop forever or is it gonna stop like the last one? Wow, it is really going. It's just a bunch of dead bodies. That's goofy. Uh. Willem says, just wait until Max Payne 3, some of the silliest lines in the series. I don't mean to brag, but give me a bat and a zombie head, and I'll hit a home run every single time. A girl! Yawn. Wake me up when you're done trying to impress me. An army of freaking zombie demons from outer space. <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of Max Payne 1 references and in a, a row. Whole lot of cartoon kung fu butt kicking. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna do Max Payne 1 or Max Payne 3 just because it's not developed by Remedy. In the Brooklyn School for the Blind, we know that seeing is not the same as believing. The Brooklyn School for the Blind. Our we might wait for a while to do that one. Hello, Blue. Hi, you've called Dangerous Liaisons. Call 555 PSSY. Wow, this is going on for forever. I was really not expecting this much on the TV. Our girls are but yeah, I don't know if we're going to do Max Payne 3 as part of this series just because it's developed by Rockstar. There is an argument for doing it um, because of something that shows up in Control. But I'm not sure. NYPD. Whoa, easy, officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer, if that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Kettle says, wait, I wanted the number for dangerous liaisons. Kettle. We'll go bankrupt. After you, detective. Oh, detective, I've got something for you. Guess you ah! All right, directional aiming or, or the perps were masquerading as cleaners. Targeting, I mean, is is actually working for me in this game. 
So that's good, because I don't think it was working in the first. All right, let's see what we can do. There we go. Oh no, the actual cleaning guy got murked. That's a bummer. Poor dude. Willem says Ragnarok sign? Yeah, there was a sign for the Ragnarok club uh, back there in that last room. Looks like things I could pick up. That was some insane, inhuman reaction. The room looked like gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. No guns for me? Bummer. Vodka, <laughs> the new nightclub. Those look like specifically breakable. The answering <laughs> machine had a message on it. Shotgun. That's what I want to know. Because we picked up shotgun ammo. Got more shotgun ammo. Where's the freaking shotgun? Where's the shotgun? What what am I doing wrong? Give me the shotgun. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait! The mob guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. Uh, what do you want? We, we can... NYPD, drop them. There's a shotgun. Finish her! Oh, God, no! Like all oh, well. the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. Wow. After him, don't let him get away. Hey, shotgun. And Uzi. We supposed to do where are we trying to go it looked like that was the only place to go right oh no there's this room that's open now okay sick Whack it. so i can bullet time here using this button without actually wasting my bullet time that's actually a pretty okay change. Got him. So far, this game is a lot easier than Max Payne 1. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Finally. Hey! She looks like Morgan Webb. Mona? Max. 
We gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! Kind of odd. If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. Oh man, I took a lot of damage there. <laughs> Yikes. Ouchie. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. Pretty close to death, but uh, we're doing okay. Go ahead, and get our save started there, so we don't have to replay the whole damn level right before we uh, leave. Get it! Go! Wow, sick wheelie there, right damn. You all right? I'm okay, damn it. Hey, we're working together on this. Convincing. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The senator. Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. Huh. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winnison's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer <laughs> search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I wonder who that is. Her boyfriend, quote unquote. Darkness inside a criminal mess. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version. Be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant. Vodka. Ah. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Is that them telling us we're going to revisit all the past evils? All the old, old levels? <laughs> Vlad! Mark! 911! Bad guys with big guns. They've got me pinned down at the entrance hall. Could use some help. Could use it now. I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I think Vlad looks a little different from the first game. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. 
to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Dearest guests, prepare to die. <laughs> Bullets and hiding under a desk. 